the source of land, hundreds of them, golden, silent, coming down from the sky like great snowflakes. And the people of earth stood and stared as they descended, waiting dry mouthed to find what waited inside for us, and none of us knowing if we would be here tomorrow. But you didn't notice it, because that day, the day the sources came, by some coincidence was the day that the graves gave up their dead, and the zombies pushed up through soft earth, where erupted, shambling and dull-eyed, unstoppable, came towards us, the living, and we screamed and ran. <coughs> but you did not notice this, because... On the saucer day, which was the zombie day, <laughs> it was Ragnarok also. <laughs> and the television screens showed us a ship built of dead men's nails, a serpent, a wolf all bigger than the mind could hold, and the cameraman could not get far enough away. And then the gods came out. But you did not see them coming. <laughs> because on the saucer zombie battle of God's day. <laughs> The floodgates broke, and each of us was engulfed by genies and sprites offering us wishes and wonders and eternities and charm and cleverness and true brave hearts and pots of gold while giant people bombed across the land and killer bees. <laughs> but you had no idea of any of this because that day. The Sulcer Day, the Zombie Day, the Ragnarok and Fairies Day, the day the great winds came and snows and the cities turned to crystal, the day all plants died, plastics dissolved, the day the computers turned, the screens telling us we would obey, the day angels drunk and muddled stumbled from the bars and all the bells of London were sounded, the day animals spoke to us in Assyria, the Yeti Day, the fluttering capes and the arrival of the Time Machine Day. You didn't notice any of this. Because you were sitting in your room, not doing anything, not even reading, not really, just looking at your telephone, wondering if I was going to call. 